Hey, we're gonna we're gonna make you a, a singer right now. A ver. Maldita sea. Tell Life Podcast, the most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, let's get it. Another yes, week, sir. another episode. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, comment the fits, comment what you like, what you don't like. It's all right. But we are finally sitting with one of the most funniest guys on social media, I'm on right, TikTok, right. on Instagram. Man, I'm sure you guys ran into it. I'm sure you guys sent it to your girlfriends, to your Sanchez, to your novias, <laughs> to your wives, to your novios, like, everybody. We got Jason and Tony in the house, so, baby. So, 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 Let's so, so, go. Hey. Come on, I'm despierten. I'm despierten, despierten. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's, it's been a while. Well, you guys reached out to me, what, like uh, two months ago? And finally, I'm here. I mean, <laughs> there you go. It took a while. We, we are here at the correct moment at the right moment. Exactly. That, yeah. That's what it is. I told him when it's right, I'll be there. And then uh, that's today. And here it is. Today. And we did. Right and people don't know, but we had a we had a conversation. I think it was like eight p.m. And you were telling me why you couldn't be here, and we'll get into that later, little later on. But we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're so blessed today, we're blessed. A little cheers. Yes, cheers. cheers. Everybody, it's H2O, everybody guys, I promise, is water. It is, yeah. literally is water. But it literally I is water. Fit in. <laughs> but let's get right into it. You said you're gonna explain why your name. So a lot of people think my name is Jason. They'll be like, oh, so Jason. And I, and I understand. I, so I, I never correct them, you know. But it's um, Jason Tony. The reason it's Jason Tony is because when I made my Instagram, I was into Jordans. Jays. Oh. So that's, well, I still like shoes and stuff, but that's why it's called Jason Tony. So Jordan's on me, and, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, like, okay. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Let's take it back. Where did Tony grow up in? What city? I'm from South Central LA. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yep. I was raised right there. Um, then I moved, eventually moved to Southgate and Downey. Okay. You're there right currently, now, yeah. right now? All right. So you are how old? For everybody I'm, knowing. I'm 20. I just turned 27 on the 4th. November yes, Scorpio. sir. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Scorpio. On the 4th? Scorpio. Yeah. Of November? That's my brother's birthday, too. Oh, that hey. Is. You see, right on it. Yep. Scorpio season, you already know where you're Shout your out favorite. to my brother, bro. Where you got your a twin. favorite. You got a twin. Um, how was it growing up? Look for, I don't know if, if you really got into this in any of your social media platforms, but just know everybody watching now wants to get to know who Tony is behind the character. So, where you came from, how was it with growing up, siblings, all that good stuff now. So, I mean, growing up, luckily, um, I, w I, I was blessed. My parents, I had both my parents. Uh, I have two sisters, um, and I, I'm the only boy. I'm the baby, so, mm -hmm. you know, whatever Chiquiado? I wanted. Chiquiado, bro. Chiquiado. Yeah, Chiquiado. <laughs> He's like, Chiquiado, so I'm sure. the only boy. Uh, it was, it was, well, like I told you, um, both my parents, honestly, um, were able to get me whatever I wanted as a kid. We kind of didn't struggle. Yeah. And that's why I said I was blessed growing up, you know? That's so dope. Um, and my dad, uh, shout out to my dad. Um, he's uh, one of my role models. He, he was really hard on me, but um, he made me who I am today. Why, why, do, you, why do you say that? So when, when us now, that the age that we're in, we're like, man, looking back, we're like, damn, our parents really taught, taught yeah. us well. We just didn't like it during that time. Yeah, I was always like, damn, my dad's always on my ass, man. What's up with this guy, you know? <laughs> He but now I understand, understand yeah. You know, he had me cutting the grass at five years old. You know, he took the lawnmower. Yeah, the lawnmower. <laughs> I swear, it did take me. He had me doing everything. Waking you up at six in the morning. <laughs> and he's the reason um, when I turned 10 or 11, um, he bought me a trumpet and put me in a tamborazo. And I was, so I played music for like 10 years. And that's what I did before um, TikTok and Instagram. I used to sing in a banda. 
A ver, cantamos algo. Eh, 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 eh. I got you guys. I'll sing you guys a little song. Ready? Right? Yeah, yeah. I'll sing you my go-to when I ever go somewhere and I don't want to sing. What is it? Go for it. Maldita sea mi suerte porque te conocí. Maldito sea los besos que tú me diste a mí. Maldita las caricias con las que me inviciaste a no vivir sin ti. Yeah, that's good. Oh, <laughs> my boy. I'm going to dab you up. Hey. I'm going to dab my you up. My God. Wait, and, and that was, it was going to be a later question, but I'm like, man, like I see when you, when you have functions, parties, you have banda, you have music, you, you're in the vibe. Yeah, well, my dad's the reason for all that, you know. Uh, my all right, neighbors, so explain. My neighbors had a tamborazo going on, you know, they were all my age, and my dad was like, how come you don't play with them? And I was just like, I was down, you know. So he went to the Swami, Alameda Swami, <laughs> and he bought me a trumpet. Like uh, the cheapest brand, but it still did, it's it, still you know. Same. And that's how I started. That's where I started. Um, it was funny. I was twelve years old, thirteen years old, playing at clubs. <laughs> that's, right, that's, <laughs> right, that's, right, that's right. That's right. Hey, so no. they would see me walk in, and they'll be like, "What the hell? Where's, <laughs> where's your dad at?" Me or tu mamá? They're like, "No, they were stopping like they were." I'm like, "Oh, I'm part of the band." They're like, "Oh, all right, go through the back." I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Uh, Every uh, like uh, daycare is over there. Don't <laughs> 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 Looking for your dad. Uh. <laughs> so now that brings up a perfect question. So at that age, singing on stage with obviously an, in front of an older crowd and every, what's the mentality? What's the feeling? How like how does that go? You know, at first I was nervous a bit. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I wasn't that nervous because I feel like. I like being the center of attention. Like, you know, like when we have parties and stuff like that, I'm always like the making everybody laugh. Everybody's like, you know, all eyes on me, in other words. So yeah. I feel like it was something that was meant for me. And I've played um, in front of thousands of people before. What, what was your biggest stage? Um, Probably. I'm, trying to, I'm having a brain fart right now. It's um, like Pico. <laughs> Oh, Pico, yeah, Pico. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pico. Yeah. We, don't, we don't really talk about Pico because my guy here oh, got yeah. lost in there. He got lost in the sauce. I, we I don't want to talk about they, it. No, they lost me. I didn't get lost. They lost nah, me. he was like, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> you know? Okay? He was always just standing around looking at the girls waiting to ask one oh, to no. <laughs> no, he was the one. He jumps in like randomly. Like, <laughs> <trying to dance. laughs> no, he was the one picking up the girls to get into the VIP. Oh, yeah? And then there was none there, so he went to the general pop, and then he just got lost. I, I said, fuck. It's because, I mean, VIP is good. She was like, I'll meet you at the car, fool. I said, okay. Sometimes Man. you got to say, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. As long as you had fun, that's what matters, you know? He got roofied. I got roofied. Oh, he got man. Roofied. He got roofied. You know, this is it, a... It, it was, hey, yeah, I did get roofied. It was so bad. Then, the next day, he was like, bro, what happened? He was like... He roofied himself. Why is he <laughs> lying? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to make this more interesting. I, I, I had two cups. I tried to give her that one, but I, I roofied myself. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong one. Uh, He's like, wait a minute, fuck. <laughs> man, so... <laughs> music. So, does music now play a big part in your life? Uh... Cause like I like in your Instagram and everything you have a a, a tab right of motivation, your your wife your more like your content, but music singing and performing, music is different then compared to like we love music and yeah. we all resonate with songs and stuff, but you're literally you just sing us a fucking song, you like this is like hey well, this is my moment this is it, so what is what does that mean to you what it like. A lot of people always tell me, like, hey, you should get back to singing. And I want to, but I just have too much going on. And maybe one day I'll take out covers or something. Because I've been wanting to take out covers, live covers. Uh, but as of now, I, I kind of don't have time. But I want to get back to it. Wait. I miss it a lot because yeah. I played for 10 years, like I said, before TikTok and Instagram. So that's what I used to do. Is that, so that did, my job. did that help you as a, as a person uh, to build your character throughout your your childhood growing up? Uh, kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Because that's kind of what started everything, too. I had one of my buddies that played in a band with me. Yeah. If you go down through all my Instagram videos, he would play the Jessica role. He yeah. would put on the wig and I'd be the guy. <laughs> and um, he's the one that kind of helped me start it. Well, that's so how we started. And we would do it for fun at first, you know? Yeah. And eventually, 
well, he stopped doing videos with me because uh, he had to go work and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so yeah. we're, we're going to get into the Jessica part right now because no, I, I, I know that's a, that's a one yeah. that everybody is waiting for and everything. We, but We all have a toxic Well, that's, yeah. that's what... <laughs> That's why well, everybody follow. They all follow Jessica. Yeah, I don't think they follow Tony. When when did so y- Jessica came out because of your friend, and then your friend became too busy. Work life happened, right? Things so, happen. So yeah, so my friend, uh, his name is Edgar. Shout out to Edgar. Uh, Shout out Edgar. We would do videos for fun. We would just like, or sometimes even at the gigs on our breaks, we would do fake scenes. You know, which yeah. is just for the moment. You know, just laugh. And eventually, I wanted to start recording, and he was down, so we started recording, and eventually, I mean, he had to work, and uh, um, I didn't want to put on the wig at first, though. You know, I didn't want to put on the wig. I wanted somebody to put on the wig, and eventually, I was like, you know what? It's because you have to be um, sh- strong-minded, you know, like, to put on a wig and stuff like that. Yeah. Cause I mean, yeah, because, yeah. like, people judge you, people yeah, say exactly, stuff, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and especially, you know, like, my dad, he's an OG. So me putting it on the wing, my dad was oh, like, oh, you know? ¿Qué traes? You know? ¿Qué estás haciendo las chingaderas? Mijo, mijo. Yeah. Mijo. Eso no se hace, mijo. So that's why it was kind of hard, you know? Yeah. So w- when when did that idea just, I'm taking Jessica and Tony? I did one video once. I said, fuck, F it, you know? I put on the wig and I did both parts. And it blew up. And I was just like. For most content creators, um, or like you know, influencers, whatever they see that pops, that's what they're gonna roll with. Facts. So I seen that that that's what got the attention, and I was like, you know what? It seems like the toxic toxicness is touching people, and that's what they want to see. So that's yeah. I was like, let's run with it. I love it. You know. Yeah. So that's how. I was it a? But was it a persona change that you had to tell yourself, like, all right, this is Jessica. Then this is Tony, and then this is Tony outside of the camera. Well, I'm kind of the same. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not. I don't change. I'm not like I won't come in here like, hey, what's up, guys? So you're still toxic, right. or no? you know? I'm not. Well, I'm not toxic. <laughs> you know what? I was. So you're still toxic, you <laughs> know? Hey, dude, don't come at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not toxic. I was toxic. I'm not gonna lie. You know. Well, we'll get to that right now. How yeah. you come out, you know? He start, he's starting to sound like Curl. Oh my god. Yeah. Dylan's dude. already gonna like fuck. I'm gonna call it real quick. Why is he getting closer though? I, can, I keep <laughs> it in. I'm hitting a little. Hey, so so tell us why you're here today. <laughs> By the end of the, the podcast, he's gonna be right. His legs gonna be right here. <laughs> you got gaze on your phone real quick, man. So. It blew up. You said I'm running. That's let's that's, do it. This is what it. You know, I found what the, I found the little the little the niche. Yeah. And how did you take that? And how did your family around you take that when you just when you came up with like, all right, this is what I'm doing. Well, at first my family didn't know about it until I blew up. Well, my sisters did. They have social media. My mom, my dad did it. Um, but a lot of I was getting a lot of feedback from friends like, oh, that's funny, you know, like. So, I, I was. I, I do, you, like, do you? Th- we we. I love getting into like the, the spicy thing on here. So, did you get a lot of fake love when shit was popping off? I'm not gonna lie. I, got a, I had a lot of high school friends that didn't talk to me or didn't like me. Hit me up, saying, "Oh my god, you know, like you're famous. Like, oh damn, you made it, bro. Congrats. You know, this yeah. is that." I didn't reply. I just read it and I just said, "Oh, that's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> but I had a lot of like high school friends reach out to me. And we just yeah. did that TikTok. That I'm me. petty. Yeah, yeah, I'm petty. And uh, even friends, even ex girlfriends would hit me up. Oh, damn! So I gotta go famous so my ex can hit me up. Like, yeah, hey. So you come back. <laughs> now, nah, because I mean, it's it's not that we're going through it completely or anything, but I mean, when you come up with an idea, there's some that like, nah, man, that's not gonna work. Nah, bro. Nah, really? That's all you're doing? And then you get a couple numbers on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and like, damn, bro, you made it. I've always believed in this. And and, and that's how it is. You know, like, you get your first, like, your like, couple of views, you're like, yes. And then sometimes you don't, and it's okay. Uh, you just got to be consistent and, and not, not never give up on that because a lot of people, w- whether it's a business or whatever it is, uh, if they're not doing good, they like to, you know, throw in the towel. and. Yeah. That's how it was at first for me. It took me like two years to get a decent following at least. It took me two years to get 50K following on Instagram. So it took a while. 
You know, it didn't come easy. Some so for some people it does come easy. Some people from one night to the other they could blow up. I've seen it. Yeah. And sometimes I'm I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes us or uh, I know me, I was like, damn, you know what? Like I've been doing this for a long time, and they just blew up. I don't know or why then, but I learned that everybody has their their time. You know, everybody gets their their, their uh, spotlight. At one point where you were just like, you know what? This is not working out. I'm not getting oh, the followers. Always, all the time. Till today, bro. Till today. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> there's times when I feel like my video. Because I like to post video. I don't like to p- just post videos just to get a, a, a video up there. Mm-hmm. I like to be like, okay, I like it. It's funny. I, I got to like it. Because sometimes people will tell me, oh, that video is funny. And I'm just like, ah, it's not that funny for me. Yeah. But someone told me that sometimes other some videos are not going to be funny for me, but they're going to be funny for someone else. And like yeah. the way of you not giving up, is it for yourself or for your followers? You're like, you know what? I need to put content out for these people. Or is it like, oh. I need to it's for my followers, thing. honestly. You know, like they, some look up to me. You know, I'm not gonna just say I couldn't do it. You know. Yeah. And it's also for me too, cause uh, I wanted to be an actor growing up. You know. Because I think uh, under your description on Instagram, you have comedian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm like I said, you know. But that that that. What Dylan is saying, it brings up a a, a, perf- a it's a perfect topic because I think for when you spent two years building 50K, we're literally going to year two and we're about to hit, we just hit 31K. I saw, I saw, I was talking yeah. about it yesterday. I was it's like, crazy. I was wow. talking about you guys yesterday. Look, I'm going to come on this podcast. They got, they got my attention, you know? Because yeah. a couple of podcasts reached out to me and I just told them like, yeah, well, we'll sit, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see when I could go, but. Yours got my attention with that one post that I, I posted on my story that you reached out when you hit me up. Yeah, yeah. That's the, I had to save for a while. And some, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I would listen to it just to, to pump me up. That's crazy. You know? like the Jesus high five. Christ. High five, high five, high five, high five. High five. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Thank no, you, We, we were trying to be humble. Okay, now, right, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm one of those, and we're one of those that, like, when people try to give us a, I'm like, no, 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 stop, stop. We're not there yet. But... Now, how you said, now in the stage that we're in, we're helping a lot of people throughout that journey. So when I seen you repost it, it was before we even got in contact. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, what's going on? I was like, all right, it's time. It's time to now send in that message. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, hope if you re- I hope he reaches out because I'm down to come out. I like his podcast. And yeah. I, I feel like that's the one I want to come out in, you know? I appreciate that. Yeah, because, I mean... It's it's been a journey, and we've always chased the message, not the numbers. But because of the message and the traction, we we are able to reach people like yourself, Cisco, Leo, uh, Jorge, Adri. Yeah, shout out to Cisco, Leo, man. Funny, there's probably one of my favorite TikTokers also, Pac Jonathan. Shout out to them. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, and our thing is the message. What are people going to take from this podcast? Instead of just the funny uh, drama stuff, what are they going to take out of this? What do they help them with? And even just, damn, this person is so huge and still going through real life shit. You know, I go live on TikTok and I, I talk to uh, whoever's watching live and I, I talk to them about, because they usually want to see me come on with the wig and stuff. Like, Where's <laughs> Jessica? And, you know, I make them laugh for a bit, but then I start telling them my problems or stuff like that just so they could know that. I'm human too because I mean most of the influencers just post like um, only the the nice things, you know, the bright like side of their life, the bright you know? side, you know. Yeah. And I like to sometimes post what I'm going through just so, so they can know that they're not alone, you know. Yeah, and like they're not the only ones. Like you're being vulnerable. Yeah, because vulnerability. Or sometimes they post all these things to make it seem like their life is better than yours, and it's not, you know. That is that's social media, bro. I yeah, mean, that's how it is. You just like, post a good part of your. Because sometimes I'll see someone in, like in vacation and stuff like that, and I'm be like, damn, I'm over here, you know, figuring out uh, how to invest more and stuff like that, and they're over there having a good time, you know. Yeah. But that's how what social media is, you know. It makes other people feel less. Yeah. So, building the character of Jessica. Let's get right into that. Like, uh, how does Jessica come about? How does the content for Jessica come it's about? Juicy. Nah, he's <laughs> like, for it. Look, he's I got to get your drink. Jessica. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> so Jessica was, uh, I was in a toxic past relationship. So, uh, you know. Bam. Bam, Jessica was there, you know. 
<laughs> so, but I was toxic too. You know, we're like. Yeah. So what's the more, toxic? Okay, so who's more toxic? Wait, though? So, you know, it was wait, a competition. Because we're all gonna, re- I'm gonna relate with you real quick. So what is a toxic trait? <laughs> what is that? What was your toxic trait? Because Dylan says, "Boy, you're fucking toxic." It's I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'm not a real, toxic. A real homie will tell you. Your I'm shit, like, I'm not bro. toxic. A real bro. homie will tell you your shit. Man, you know, well, hey, I was God, just, toxic. we were both super. To- I was just super toxic, and yeah. like I wouldn't um, let her open her eyes outside. You know, like, <laughs> in other words. <laughs> That's your cousin? I don't care if that's your cousin. You know? That's your, your brother? Your cousin's a little too close to you, dog. Why is your brother sitting next to you? You know? Like, I was mega toxic, you know? Well, there, there, there was a video yesterday that said, a la prima se la rima. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. We watched, we watched it. She's like, that's not your cousin? He was like, a la prima se la rima. Don't make me act like a fool right now. I was like, yeah. damn. But, um, but it, it, does that relate to, like, an insecurity that you had? Uh, honestly, I was toxic because I was um, doing things I shouldn't be doing, you know? So that's why. That's why most people are toxic because they feel like the other person's doing what they're doing. Mm. You get me? So that's Dang. why I was toxic because I was doing things behind their back. That's that's a person yes. that admits to like, because when, when it gets to a real deal, you start going up, it's maturing. It's accepting what you've been doing throughout your life that's been bad and like, you know what, I did fuck up. I was that person. Instead of, nah, bro, I've always done good. It's their fault. And stop blaming other people when it's actually your yeah. fault. Blame the person in front of the mirror. Continuing to be toxic. Yeah, br- continue to be toxic. And what's they say? Like, if you don't fix it now, then the next one you have, it's going to end up in the same shit. And, and what's crazy is, you know how she was toxic too and... Um, she wasn't. She was doing things behind my back too. So you see, like how. Back and forth. So at the end of the day, you were right. You, you, you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I was like, I did it because you did it. <laughs> what I you do. <laughs> hey, as long as we don't do that, but I still love you though. I just want to be with you. But, uh, but also that um, I could only come up with so much content off of that. Also, I get content off um, when I hang out with friends or like if you have situations with your your girl or whatever yeah. the case is. We'll tell you, we'll tell you after yeah, this so we get on the is. content. So sometimes I have dinner with friends and they'll be like, hey bro, I got a story for you. This is what <laughs> happened this week. Like I made one recently about um, Jessica trying to stop the car when Tony's trying to leave and she gets on top of the car and he takes off. <laughs> one of my buddies told me that was a real story for him. That's how I made it, you know? Damn, I need someone to love me like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true love right there. That's true love. She's going to yeah. sacrifice her life for me like that. Damn, so... It continues. You're you're now. What are you in? T- year two. You're going into year three. With um, with your content, Jessica, Tony. Uh, let's see. Yeah, year three. What is the overall goal now? My family. Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dad. So if you guys don't know, I'm a dad now. Ooh. He's a big dad. Yes, sir. He's a he's a dilf now. He's a dilf certified dilf. Yeah. So that's all that matters right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that hey. talking of experience? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids, who come on, they got now for hey, sure. Uh, that, yeah, that's all that matters right now. Now, now um, my platform, any of that, I'm blessed to have it. But my 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 family, that's all I care about. Yeah. Is, is someone had we came out of, in, in another podcast, and the guy was like, "Don't you think that everything you're recording, your content, is just..." a full-on memory card for your kids to see you later. Yeah, I was just like, damn. He's going to see me all these wigs, you know? <laughs> it's all good, you know? Or one day he's going to be walking around and pull out the wig from the drawer. Or <laughs> You're like, what the hell is this? Oh, you know what? Wait up. <laughs> you guys asked earlier. You guys asked earlier if I brought the wig, man. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go! Oh, I was going to say that for this. <laughs> I fucking brought her, dude. <laughs> I fucking brought her, dude. <laughs> so, wait up. Ready? This oh, is we're ready. All right. Here we go. Just a good way to go. Now I'm definitely getting closer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing, dude. <laughs> oh, yo. Hi, guys. This is Jessica, dude. Um, thank you guys for having me here. Um, let's not talk about Tony. Let's not talk about Tony. Is he toxic? <sighs> A little bit, but I'm the real fucking toxic. I'm the toxic queen, dude. Why, though? Why? Why can't we just share love positivity? <sighs> because, dude, it's boring. Oh, you need toxic. because toxicness brings, like... <sighs> you have to stay entertained, bro. You exactly. Gotta, yeah. Damn, you know what you're talking about, huh? Fuck, no. yeah. 
I'm but not talking did, to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you have a lot of guys that hit on you when you go out? All the time, dude. Well, you know what? I do go out with them, but you just don't say anything, dude. Keep it low pro. Yeah, so what are you doing after? I, I see why. I mean, I see why we're not going to say it out here, bro. <laughs> Nah, but I did bring the wig. I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring the wig for you guys. You know, I'm going to have it and I'm going to surprise you guys. But this is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is what brought me here. <laughs> we're going to leave it right here. It's part of the podcast. Now. Hey, the last time, oh, the last yes. time Dylan was with a girl, she left her whole wig too. Oh, yeah? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you can give me a She left the show. hair extensions. <laughs> Oh, yo. Hey, give her hair extensions back. Well, they're expensive. <laughs> now, you know what? Shoot them. I, I can use them. <laughs> the red. Man. But, so uh, this way, look at I mean, I need to fix it, guys. If you guys know anybody. But honestly, a lot of people tell me you should fix it. But I'm like, that's what makes Jessica. That's what makes you it know? funny. Like, you know? Imagine I, I look like a baddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody going to be setting you up. You're going to have to make a separate Instagram yeah, for Jessica. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a OnlyFans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever business is, man. Hey. As a friend, I would I would support you. I would like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, already got, I already got one subscriber right here. <laughs> He's gonna be the one that's tipping all the time. Oh, dude, hey, bro, you. I love what you do. Tip, tip, tip. I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> Can I get a private video, bro? <laughs> <laughs> private shout out, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> so, so, some topics. At topics. your family parties, do, do they tell you put on the wig? How does oh, like? Bring, well, how does my, that go? You know what? My mom is always like, "Oh, ponte la peluca." You know, put on the wig. And I'm always like, all right, I'll put it on. You know, sometimes she wants me to put it on all the time for parties to make the family laugh, and I do it. Is I bring it, the wig out all the time. Even if it's not Jessica wig, like somebody has a wig in their house, and I just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've you seen a video of me you. dancing at a party. Yeah. They had a random, oh, that was not even a wig. It was extensions, and I just wrapped <laughs> them around. <laughs> so put and around. I put on a hat on top, and I just, you know, I'm like I told you, I, I like being the life of the party. What is, what is the... A for you, when you get the attention, what does that do for you? Your self-esteem, your persona. Um, cause I, I see every, I see everybody smiling, having a good time, and that's what 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 brightens me up. When I see everybody laughing and having a good time, you know, because they're not thinking about anything but the moment. Oh, awesome. shit! Yeah, hey, there, there, come on, come on. Arriba los tóxicos Arriba, para yeah. que... Toxic, having toxic in a relationship is kind of fun. Sometimes, sometimes. In the words of my friend Jorge, he said, Tiene que haber pleito <laughs> para que se. <laughs> para que haga reconciliación buena. Yeah, one, once in a while you need a little uh, argument, you know? Once in a while, but I, I do want. I haven't argued with my girlfriend in a while, and I was just like, you know, damn, it's, it's been too chill, you know? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I kind of want to fight. Time, you, know? <laughs> you know, I do want to shout out Andrew, Pure Gains, on their baseball MX awesome. over there, look, the Venados. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. Thank you. And then. Right, Dylan wearing a jersey. Oh my God, who is this guy? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, what? This who keeps getting close to me? Hey, <laughs> like right here on my shoulder, man. Hey, I need you to put the wig on again. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I was looking at him. He was like this all the time, like petting the wig. Uh, I was, let me see how that feels. Like, <laughs> Dylan was like, man, memories. <laughs> yeah. She was actually blonde, bro. He was like, can I borrow it really quick? <laughs> Takes two pillows? Where, gonna, where are you going? Then he's going to send a picture. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to do the talk to them. I'm going to put the, the, the hand <laughs> here. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, yeah. No, you could just do this. I do this for my video. Like, I just record this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come out? Well, you don't want to come out? He shakes it. <laughs> when I go live, I do that. And I put the camera at an angle. So it looks like she's here. Like, hey, you come out. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Me lonely as fuck in my room, like. <laughs> no, your dog food, uh, man. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this shit on my dog, but just she's a female oh. too. So. <laughs> stop, Damn, it. stop! Oh no, stop. no, no, like that! Whoa, whoa! No, hey. no, no, no! He's gonna be like, yo, Damn. you took that way too far. Hold up, she's on heat too. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just shut up. All right, so let, let's get down to to the to the topic of why we're. Why this all came about, and when when we started talking to Tony, when I reached out to Tony, it's because Tony reposted one of our one of our videos. For everybody that reposts us, thank you guys, love you guys, and because of you guys, we're here in this platform now. And he reposted it. I think I had like a couple people send it to me, like, "Dude, this guy reposted you." I was like, "Oh shit!" And they didn't tag us. I was like, <laughs> I re- no, but I reposted it from your, it's practically a tag because if they click on it, it goes to your page. 
I reposted it from oh. TikTok. Yeah, but I don't get the notification. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh. I, I still post it. <laughs> well, that's why we're here today, right? Yeah, we are. So he did that, and I was like, you know what? He reposted it. Let me, I got to send a message. Tell him thank you. And we started talking really, really briefly. And because of that, there was, we were going to set it up, and we were kind of like a back and forth. felt like, I mean, the obvious felt like it was just, I kept talking and dodging. Yeah, I kept dodging him. Um, he would tell me, oh, when are you going to come to the podcast? And I was like, oh, what days do you have open? I would I would just uh, keep, you know. Prolonging it. Yeah. Yeah, we were I going. pushing it, telling him, oh, maybe this week. Oh, you know what? What well, Saturdays? What time? This and that. Eventually, one day, um, I yeah. called him. I called him. It was like around 8 o'clock. Yeah. And I told him the truth. And we're going to talk about. Um, we're gonna talk about it right now. Right? Yeah. So we, we he had a we had a moment a moment of vulnerability, which was so amazing and honestly a realization because you think that everybody that has a platform that is famous and TikTok, Instagram, wherever that everybody and everybody is perfect. We don't go through the bad stuff. We don't have moments that we are down and out. But we're we're humans. We all go through our stuff. We all have moments where we don't want to get up. We have moments where we're going to, I mean, we're just going to cry and feel like nothing's going right. And there's a sound that we just reposted, I posted, that I have everything to be proud of, yet I still feel like I'm not doing enough and I'm not proud of it. And when he was like, yo, I got to, can I call you? I said, let's run it. Called. And he told me exactly why he felt it wasn't the right time. And I completely understood because we all go through anxiety depression we all go through um moments where we're just like fuck yeah, it's, it's not it's not the time that, that day i called him i was i was really going through it it was, it was a really tough tough moment sorry hold on hold on some someone's gonna be here uh, um, yeah we have a mariachi coming oh hell yeah um, i fucking know it we we paid <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Dylan paid the hour. Uh, yeah, Dylan Wait. Dylan got the credit card out. I'm Don't gas me up like that. I'm expecting a mariachi to walk in. <laughs> um, but you, we had a you had a moment and you had a moment where everything how you said everything was perfect, yet everything felt like there was no light in your life. Uh, yeah, till today, I mean, I'm still I'm still walking that same path as. Um, I, I told you I was going through um, that day I called you I was really going through uh, dark really dark I'm still in a dark place right now but I, I was really going through it that night you were sitting in your car I was sitting in my car um, kind of crying well crying you know I'm not going to say kind of crying I was crying and then uh, I, ca- I told him uh, I called him and I told him what I was going through and I was like look I want to come out on your podcast but I've been going through this man and um, you know and honestly um, I, w- I was scared so um, having him on the phone, talking to him, uh, made me feel better. Uh, I, I reached out to other couple friends, and well, I've been struggling with um, anxiety and like depression uh, for the last um, two years. I would say since um, April fourteenth, twenty twenty. That's when my whole life changed. What was April fourteenth, twenty twenty? When I had my first panic attack. Um, at three in the morning, randomly, I woke up to um, feeling like I couldn't breathe and my heart was racing. I didn't know what was going on. And um, every, the next morning was just so different. I felt so, so, I felt like I was on a drug yeah. from that day on. And to today, I still feel it. Um, and it's tough. I know a lot of people don't like talking about mental health, anxiety, any of that. And it's hard. And trust me, I know it's hard because I deal with it every day. And sometimes you just feel like you're not going to make it. And sometimes I feel like that I'm not going to see another day, you know, because it just gets so hard. It's the hardest battle I've ever had to deal with. And if you've never experienced it, I hope you never experienced it because it's it's something unexplainable. It's something like you don't even know how to explain it, how you feel. And if you're struggling with any mental health or any battle just know that the storm eventually ends it's gotta end there's no way it could keep going. it's gonna end and that's why i keep pushing because it's gotta end it can't rain forever 
We got it. We got to give. We got to give those flowers and and really shed light on that vulnerability because us as men and prior to our host, the one that hosts us, shout out Joaquin, sitting right there. If you haven't heard him yet, if you haven't heard him yet on the mic, shout out to Um, he's really quiet. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, like ten shots in, <laughs> whole bottle done. Um, we literally talked about like there's that's one thing that we feel growing up from if you're in a Hispanic household or any household that being vulnerable as as a man as 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 a young boy as a young kid that you got to be tough. You can't cry. Get up to go to work. Take care of your responsibilities. And if something is wrong, amarrate los huevos and keep going. And in reality, I think one of the most powerful tools that we have now is vulnerability. Yeah. Talking about what we're talking about now. Talking about, hey, you know what? I did cry. You know, last night I was crying, and today I got up, and I went to work because I had to. Doesn't mean that shit's sunny and perfect now. There's still clouds. How do you say? There's still clouds on my head. But there's a road ahead of me, and I got to keep going because if I don't, then the train isn't running. The key. I'm not, I'm not working. Like personally the key because... I mean, for, Tell us, Dale. for y'all that don't know, I mean, I'm, I may, may be a happy person. I smile all the fucking time. But I've been dealing with depression for three years already, which is not a good thing. I know, but a lot of people know me as Dylan, the happy Dylan, you know? Yeah, and since I got here, you've been smiling, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little like, too yeah. much, bro. <laughs> like, I, you know, I was just like, eh. He's, oh, he's, he's laughing. It's been to the point where my parents don't even notice my depression. And... Obviously, he has come through, come through, come through. <laughs> they brought me pizza. <laughs> Let me get a slice. Oh, yeah, we have the we have the mariachi coming in, walking in. Traje mariachi para que veas que te queremos. Para que veas, para que te queremos. Ah, pueden comenzar con la canción la de Acá entre nos. I'll sing. We'll sing right now. We'll, we'll sing right now. We'll right right now. After, but okay. back, Dylan. Uh, well, we're back at it. You know. Anyways, um, it's been to a point where my parents haven't even noticed my depression, you know? And there's been a situation probably like a couple of days ago where my parents yeah. like, you know what? We have to go uh, support this person. You know, they're probably going through depression, this and that. And I just, I didn't say it to them, but in my head I'm like, yo, I'm literally your son. I'm going through depression. And it's kind of like, it's not weird, but it's kind of surprising that you haven't noticed I'm going through this. And it goes back to what he's saying, you know, as Hispanics, your parents are like, if something's going on, you put you put your face straight as hell and you just continue on, you know? Yeah, I, re I remember I told my dad when I first went through it, he was just like, oh, just start working out. I was like, shit, fuck. Is that easy? <laughs> 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 shit, if I work... Yeah, just start yeah, working yeah. out. Like, yeah. Damn, what are you trying to say, bro? Like, I was just like, okay, <laughs> I guess it's that easy, you know? Yeah. And I, th I did eventually tell my dad, I'm like, you know what? I, I'm going through depression. It's been three years since I've been going through depression. And he was like, well, get another job. Stop doing this. Start doing that. I'm like, well, what do you think I do when I go spend two or three hours at the gym, you know? What do you what do you think I do when I go to work early as fuck in the morning with yeah. Disco? And do you think I just go and, you know, have fun? Like, no. It's like, those are my moments of the day where I put on my hat and I'm just like, you know what? I got to get through this shit. And the key to this, I think, is you just gotta do. You gotta take it day by day, bro. Yeah, day by day. As long as you progress little by little every day, you're doing good, bro. There's a song called in Spanish "Un día a la vez." Yeah, exactly. Just live one day at a time. Take it one day at a time. You know what? I, with anxiety, um, anxiety, you always think of what ifs. You think in the future. True. That's how it is. I'm always thinking like I'm gonna be honest with you. I was nervous to come here because I was like, what if I come here and I have a panic attack in front of everybody? You know, or what if this happens? What if that happens? And 99.9 .9 of the time of whatever I think of, of the what ifs never happen. They never happen. And I always tell myself they never happen. And um, so whatever I fear, I, I attack it. I attack my fears. It, it's always that, uh, how you said, it's always those what ifs. True. Like, we're here. What if he wouldn't come? What if this camera went down? What if this light went down? It's what if like self-sabotage. Yeah, we self-sabotage at the same time. And one of the... One of the things that we all do at, as just people, as humans, is we self-sabotage ourselves. Man, you know what? I'm not going to do this because I don't think I'll be good at it. Exactly. And yeah. shit, this, I mean, this is, this is the bread and butter. This, we're here at Total Life Podcast now where when we started in 2021 in an apartment in West Covina, 
It was in the dining room, 12 a.m., Friday nights, 20 weeks straight. And no one's seen us. We we talked because Dylan asked me, like, yo, when did we, when did this blow up? And I was like, it's honestly, and we, I went, I had to go back in emails. I had to check everything. And for anybody, like, listening and watching now, like, pay attention to this. And this is one of the things I, I don't really talk about or post because I'm just like, numbers are numbers, right? We recorded 2021 to up to 2022, right? A whole year. The whole hours listened, hours watched, followers that we had in all the year totals up to what we did a whole in a month now. Like oh, we man. we had like it was that's it. <laughs> it was tough. it was crazy. I'm like we had we have hours like we had thirty thousand hours view listens a month we didn't even get 10 in a whole year in 2021 and now people see this and i didn't know if i was good at this i still don't know if i'm good at this i just know that i love this way so much that i'm never gonna give it up because and steve harvey said it your gift will pave your way whatever your gift is your gift is you make people laugh smile focus on the moment when everything's going wrong like you started singing we focus, like, everything's going wrong. You start seeing it, damn, I'm living in the moment now. Yeah. And you have that ability and, and talent that you go through everything you go through, but that talent and that gift that you have, no one else has it. Because everybody has it in their own way, but you, Tony, have it in your personal way that now millions of people watch you. Thousands. Like, you went from a kid growing up in South Central, maybe not performing for thousands of people in music to now doing content and now millions of people watch your content consistently. So come on with that. We do got to come on. You got to give your we come a long way, baby. We, we've came a long way. So for someone that's dealing with anxiety, depression and and all that, what's the what's the quote? What's the recommendation? How do you. So, you know, what? when I was going, I was in that dark place. Like I told you guys, I went through it April 14. So April 4, April, April, May, I was. I was, I didn't think I was going to see another month, honestly, another day. I was, I was like, you know what? This is going to take me down because it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's tough. If you haven't experienced it, and I hope you never do, but it's tough. It's the toughest thing. And it's like you against you. That's the hardest part. It's like, that's why it's really hard. It's a battle within yourself and nobody could see it. Only you could feel it. So I remember five years ago, uh, well, now it's seven years ago. Um, I got invited to a, a church, a Christian church, mm-hmm. and I ne- I was I was always like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go, and I never went until I, w- I went through this dark place. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get prayer. I wanted prayer, and I went to this church, and it was when the pandemic was happening, so they didn't have service, only live service. But the pastor told me, come. Um, and we're going to pray. Um, shout, out, shout out to RTLA Church. That's the church I'm talking about. Shout out to you guys. And pastor told me, come, we're going to pray. And he prayed, and he told me, stay for the service. And I was the only one there. And they were worshiping. When they were worshiping is when I started melting. Like, I started crying, and um, I started feeling really warm, and I felt someone grab me. I had my eyes closed crying, and it was a pastor, and he told me, that was, he said, that's the Holy Spirit working on you. And I started going to church every Sunday since then. I've been going to church every Sunday. And a lot of people think once you start going to church or turn to God that your life's automatically going to be better. But it's not because I still feel the same way. But now in this dark place, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. So now I have hope, faith. And that's what keeps me going, honestly. And um, behind this chain, I have, uh, well, this pendant, I have my favorite songs. It's called, uh, it's some Psalms 23.4. It's, uh... Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no, fear no evil for you are with me. In other words, even though I'm going through hell, I'm, I know that God is with me and, you know, he's not going to forsake me or leave me. It's the power. Yeah. Wow, it. Jesus. Was, yeah. My hands are going to get tired of clapping yeah, so much. So, <laughs> so that's what's been helping me. Honestly, every time I feel down, I, I, I pray and I, because I wanted to talk about something else too. A lot of people think, Money, money is everything, and it's not. 
money, money, a lot of people think money makes you happy. In that case, I would be really happy right now. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I would be really happy. Because when I was feeling like this too, and I was still going to church, um, trying to find other ways to, to, to make me feel better, I would go, started buying jewelry, uh, bought a Rolex, I bought, started buying cars and stuff, and they give you that little adrenaline, they give you that little feeling for a while, like maybe one day, two days, but then you go back to reality and to how you feel. And a lot of people think if they have money, it solves, um, you know, it solves it, but it doesn't. It makes life easier, but it doesn't make you happy, you know? Yeah. And I never really knew why I went through any of this anxiety or depression because I have everything, to be honest. I have my family, uh, I have a house, I have everything, like my grandparents, like and what, I have like a, I now have a boy. I have a son. So and I'm, I still feel the same way. So it's it's hard. It's kind of tricky. It's like one of those things. Like, bro, you have everything. Why the fuck are you sad? Yeah. Like, damn. I remember when <laughs> I was getting a haircut by one of my friends, and he w they were talking about a celebrity that let go of what they were doing because of depression, and they let go of a lot of money. And my friend, my buddy, was like, "Man, give me depression and give me all his money. I'll be chilling." And I was, I didn't say nothing, but I, in my head, I was like, if you knew what that comes <laughs> with, you man, you wouldn't yeah. want that money. Because if I could give up everything I got, my my platform, my my money, and all that to be at peace, I would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I wouldn't think about it. I would take peace over anything, any day. You that's, know? Because that's, that's, that's yeah, yeah. It's, like that, that's it's like that saying I said the other time, some people are so rich, the only thing they have is money, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know? is it, don't get me wrong, like, I'll play the, the, different, the other side to it. Like, if having money, you don't have the same problems as not having money, which is you don't know where your next meal is, clothes, yeah. home, all that stuff. That, that's why I said it doesn't make it having money. Having money makes is not it a bad easier. Thing. Makes, makes it, it easier, but it, money's not everything. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like money doesn't buy happiness. It buy comfort, but not happiness. Yeah, yeah. like it, it, be, it provides. Like yeah. I, having the money, like it provides for your family, for your friends, for your loved ones, and doing you know going everywhere, wherever like you have it, cool. But when you go like when you go home, and you lay down, your room and room. everything is off finally, sure. what do you got? You and your thoughts. What Man, are your thoughts telling you? That was you? me last night. Last night I couldn't sleep. Shout out to my son. He messed up my whole sleeping schedule. <laughs> <laughs> my, my son is two weeks old. He's messed up my whole sleeping schedule. So Shout out it that was guy. three three in the morning, and I was just like. I can't sleep. He was asleep like this, all comfortable, looking all cute and stuff. And I was just like, man, I can't sleep because I'm usually up with him. So I was just overthinking a lot, what ifs and stuff like that. I was yeah. battling, you know, demons inside of me. Yeah. And uh, eventually, I over. I mean, I always overcome it. I figure it out, you know, with positivity. And nice. I didn't really sleep, but. <laughs> I'll sleep later. I'll take a nap when I get home. Okay, tell <laughs> me three of us if if he late if, if he lets me, cause <laughs> damn, I'm gonna go sleep in the guest room because sometimes I want to do that. Cause <laughs> even if I hear him going, eh, I'm like, damn, he's hungry or something, you know? He's gonna be like 15 or so watching back this YouTube videos. Like, no. Hey, no, he's like, Dad, you really felt that way. And also, I want to throw a shout out to uh, the the like family members who were there for me when I was in a dark place, and I would reach out to them. Shout out to my cousin George, my cousin Angel, my cousin Freddie. Cousin Chewy, shout out to my girlfriend for always being there. The late night drives, there's times when um, I would have a panic attack or something, and the only thing that would come for me was drives, like, at midnight. And she would always go with me, and we would just drive till the road ended. Like, just, we would just go Shit. late at night, and that would help me relax, calm down. She's she's a real one. I'm real proud for my girlfriend. Yes, sir. Come on. She put up yeah. with a lot. She put up with a lot. And, um... She's a really good woman. So for you, what is happiness? I would say peace, having peace and um, being with your loved ones. Ooh. Like when I'm with my loved ones, it's a different feeling. Even though I'm still going through what I'm going through in my head, I try to cherish the moment and it's just everything I wanted. You know, having my mom, my dad there. My son, my girlfriend, my siblings, all in the same room. It's just a different feeling. There's no like love as with family, you know? Like, that love is just different. Yeah, I think when, when love is just pure, authentic, and, like, that, that's one thing I, I said yesterday. When love is 
being surrounded by the right people feels a lot different than when you're in a room full of people that, you fake know, love. they tomorrow, yeah, fake, fake love. Day yeah. tomorrow shit. But, hey, fake love could sometimes be your own family, too. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot. Oh, of hell yeah. yeah. yeah in media, Should we get know? into pettiness right now? Because I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not, not yet, not yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm done with this. Is that angle good? Right. <laughs> um, now, it, it comes in every shape and form and in every person possible. It could be, because what, what's the famous phrase? Oh, man, your family never switch up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But sometimes family does switch up, and that's the yeah. problem. That you feel like because we're blood related, we're gonna love each other till death. No, no, no. Hey, sometimes those are the first like, ones that I'll, switch up, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll care about you, but you know, sometimes my real love and true love comes from people that are not blood related that love me when I had nothing, and even when I have something, they still treat me like I'm just me. Yeah. Like right now, we have all this here. We're doing all this. No one really cares about social media than that way. No one cares. Like this moment, we're living in it. We're living in a moment. So yeah, now we're, a moment. yeah, like now, now because we are trying to get into the content base, hey, we got to record real quick. It give us 10 minutes, so blah, blah, blah. But if we, True. we've spent months and weeks not recording nothing, I'm like, damn, fool, like we, we do a lot of fun shit out here. Like we're, yeah. s- but that's sad. Like there's people that will come around you because of what you have. And there's people that will come around you because of what you can offer. And sometimes what we offer is just our energy and and our love, and that is priceless. No numbers are put behind it. Or even your uh, someone being there for you as you, their presence, you know? Yeah. Was that a warning? or? Man, what's going on, fools? What's, what's going hey, on? What does that mean? Five, five. We're all at five? High five. High five. That's <laughs> a, what does that mean? You guys got to communicate with me too, man. Shout out to everybody in the, that you guys can't everybody see. Everybody in the back, yeah, shout out. Everybody in the <laughs> back, yes, sir. They deserve a shout out too. They're a big part of this. They are. That is. Without thank you. them, is I mean, it? I don't know about Jose. Jose oh, I was got like, here late. <laughs> we started this shit without Jose. <laughs> Who's this for? Another water? That's water. Yeah, good because this fool put a pill in this one. Like. <laughs> hey, low key. <laughs> hey, he thought. He was, why, why do you he, think I wanted to put the cups together, he, bro? He thought he was slick. <laughs> he thought he was slick, man. I seen it, bro. I mean, he I brought the it. wig. That's why I went like this. It's just I don't drink it real quick. What is this? Oh. Hold on, let, me, let me let me check it real quick. Let me check it real quick. With yeah. the Tesla, like, yo, <laughs> chill. Damn, now nah, it's just. I mean, we're we're talking about topics that I mean, followers and and people that watch you sometimes don't really know. Like, man, this guy is playing two parts, funny as shit. Man, he has it all. True. Yet I'm walking I'm walking through the shadows of death right now, and I'm yeah, trying to I'm get to the light. This is a tough battle, and. Um, I remember one day I uh, I was praying. I was praying because I was really going through it. And I told, I said, God, send me send me something to keep me going. Like, um, send me a message. Send me something. And that's the next day is when my girlfriend told me she was pregnant. Damn. And I knew he, right away he was a boy because I was like, he sent me my son. And I feel like God told me, I'm going to send you your son. And I'm not going to take the season away, but he's going to help you. Keep going for that season. That's what's going to keep you going. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. That it was my story paid out pretty much the same. Going through my first anxiety, depression, and still living with my mom's in a relationship. Shit was going bad. And then, hey, I'm pregnant. I was like, that's a boy. It's a boy for sure. Yeah, I uh, and I was like, I'm a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shooter. It's a, it's a boy, and we got we had the whole. <laughs> we got. The, <laughs> hey, I just know. I just yeah. know. I just I'm know. A shooter, bro. I'm a shooter. Shoot, bro. LeBron James He's all day. Like, I, don't, I don't miss, bro. I don't miss. <laughs> um, and when we had like whole gender reveal, it was a boy, and it was one of those things. And, and I and I've talked about this moment, and I always talk, and I always will bring it up. There was one time we were showering uh, Noah, baby. He's he's in the tub. He's in that little holder thing because he can't move around. You're still Noah? holding him. His name is yeah, Noah. Beautiful name, man. Noah. Thank you. And um, I'm looking at him, and I'm I started crying. Oh, I was like, "You have no idea that you just saved my life," because I was out. Like I was just like, "Damn!" I'm like, like there's still days now that I'm just like, 
And then now he, he's talking like there's no tomorrow. And he's just oh, like, that must be yeah, thing. so he's just like, Daddy, I want to go to practice with you. I'm like, damn, god damn. And I started crying. And there was one time I was, he were just at home. And he, I was like, all right, well, hey, come with me to the room. I got to work on the podcast. Daddy, no podcast. <laughs> I'm just like, my God, like, why are you going to do this to me? <laughs> he was like, Daddy, play with me. I was like, this is going to pay off. I'll do this now. So later on, we do enjoy this. And so the reason I'm saying that is because you don't know your blessing until it comes into your life and you realize that, hey, that is the reason why you're waking up every day. Whether I want to give up, I'm done. Like, I'm, if it's up to me, I'm good. But he's counting on me. My little girl's counting on me. My family's counting on me. Yeah. yeah. And that's like one of those things where when, I, when they get to that age and they're understanding, they're going to be like, Hey, your daddy did it. If you stayed this long, make sure you're you're subscribing, you're sharing, sharing the Subscribe, movement, guys. sharing the content. I mean, Miss Mr. Tony came and just shook the world. And we got uh, Jessica. Or nah, that's a bootleg. That's a bootlegged Jessica. Actually, no, you can call me Dylan. Dylan is a bisexual Delina. name. Dylan is a bisexual <laughs> name. That's Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> D, fool, D. <laughs> All right, Delilah, Delilah. Okay, Delilah. Oh, You're Delilah. Delilah. That's Delilah. Delilah. <laughs> Dylan. Nice to meet you guys. I am, I'm Delilah. <laughs> hey there, Delilah. <laughs> Once I'm trying, like I'm in New York, York City. City. I'm like squeaky, I can't. Hold hey. Oh. You guys want to see the squats? <laughs> I hope he doesn't have piojos or anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out. Because <laughs> that's... That's what pays the bills, guys. All right, so so, so with everything you got going on, the highest moment of your life, and, and I know you, we could say your son, mm-hmm. right? Because that when you yeah. become a parent, that is the highlight. What is a after that moment? What is the highest moment of your career, career wise? Oh damn, that's a, I've never thought of that. That's a tough one. I'm, we got but the good questions out here. No, we got to write them down. Ashley, write them down today. I I'm sorry, but I can't. Ashley, wait. you should have <laughs> gave it to me before, so I could have came prepared. Like you know, Miss Miss Becca, Miss Becca, Miss Miss Ashley, Miss. I had like ten different Instagrams, type of thing. Damn. I see, highlight maybe, the uh, highlight. May I would say maybe when I realized like this. Could be my career, like saying like this could pay the bills. I don't have to do anything else. This, yeah. this is something that it's gonna provide. Yeah, maybe that I, I could say, or yeah. That when it, when was that moment for you? When did you realize, hey, this could be? Probably after the pa- well, the pandemic around the pandemic, and it was crazy because it was right when I was going through what I was going through, you know. Yeah. So it's 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 a it's a leveling flame field. What did we get the drinks already or what? Um. Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm sorry, but I'm waiting for my drink. There, we got the fancy one. Miss Dominique made us. I want a virgin one. <laughs> you want? Yeah, please, a virgin one. So, I, I, I promise, we guys, to, I'm we have to wait for his. We have to wait Yeah, we gotta wait for his. We can't. Oh, there's I, a there's a rule when you're drinking that if you're everybody in there does not have a drink yet, you cannot drink. So, drink like I was telling them, guys, I've been sober for. Like three years already. I've been sober for three years, guys. I haven't. Played. Thank you. That's a lot. It was easy. It was, it was easy. Stop. I've been sober but for like two seconds already, and I can't do it. <laughs> We're just telling Dominique, shout out. She's a little hungover, but and she's I, here. And I don't fall under pressure. <laughs> she made it. She made it. She made this? Hey, never mind. <laughs> nah, I'm playing with you. Thank you. But, but put that cup next to mine. <laughs> what is that pill right there? <laughs> So what you guys in pills? <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Wow, not even oh, a yeah. we, we waited hey, for hey. him, and he to, disrespected us. I like had this. to make sure there's no alcohol. <laughs> you know? I got you. I'll Don't worry about it. Cheers. cheers. Pomegranate? No, oh, cl- close enough. Okay. <laughs> it's vitamin water. Oh, okay. Vitamin water. Hey, oh, thi- God, this good. is good. Wow. You're hired. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> oh, this shit was good. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're on camera. Here we go. Hey. Hey. I'm not going to lie. That shit was good. 
I would chug it too, but for me, it has a, it doesn't have alcohol. So. Hey, all the sugar, though, all the sugar. Sugar, sugar rush. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That shit was good. Thank you. That was good. Thank you. That was good. It's all right. I'm not lying. This, this is why we go broke on weekends. This is exactly I'm not going to lie. Um, so, every, there's highs and lows. There's content. There's Tony on camera, and there's a Tony off camera. What is the difference? The Tony you see right now, I'm the same. I'm the same everywhere you see me. I'm always happy, active, um, life of the party. Um, I don't. And if you ever meet me in person, I'm the same. I'm not gonna be like, like, hey, what's up? You know, like I'm the same. I'm, yeah. The way you see me right now, happy, like this, smiley. You can't even tell I'm going through anything, honestly. No, you yeah, can't. Yeah. Not gonna lie. The only reason people know is because I tell them, and I like to open up. I don't. A lot of people, well, as men, we're supposed to hold it in and you know put up with yeah. it. But uh, I don't believe in that. You know, I believe it's always better to open up and let people know what you're going through. So maybe that person that you're telling what you're going through could feel better. You know, like when I first went through it, I, I would have loved to see someone I look up to talking about anxiety, depression. They would have made me feel way, way better. You know. Facts. So that's why I, I like to spread awareness on mental health yeah. and to let anybody know who's going through it right now, keep going, you know, and never give up or don't give up, you know? Okay. I like that. Nah, it, you know what? Like, that is, again, that is the power. So if you're feeling like being vulnerable is a weakness, it is not, it is a strength. So the more... The more you are to yourself, the more truthful you are to yourself, the better you are. Yeah. Because that means you're not going to live two different lives. You're going to live one single life, and you are who you are. Whether people love you, whether people hate you for being you, it's okay. You're not meant for everybody, but you are meant for yourself. And the people that you are meant for will attract to you regardless. Regardless of what you have, regardless if you're on social media, regardless of numbers, you will be attracted to the right people. Yeah. Exactly. And it's all right. Some people may leave. Some people yeah, may come. And I've honestly in the last couple of months I've lost a lot of friends who I don't they don't reach out to me no more or any of that. I'm down to like honestly like I know a lot of people. Yeah. But like as close friends, I don't really have any no more like that. They don't sure. reach out to me no more. Um you know, stuff like that. And I'm starting to see like the bigger I get, the more I feel like successful and I, I just start seeing like who's really with me, who's riding with me, you know? Yeah. That's and the thing. I was kind of upset recently, too, because I was like, who I thought were my really good friends didn't reach out to me, you know? They don't check up on me. And it's, and it's always those other friends that you didn't think were going to be there that are the ones that are there that reach out to me, you know? It's beautiful. And I want to also say uh, shout out to whoever I FaceTime late at night. It could be a random friend, a random cousin. Uh, when I FaceTime you guys at night, it's because I'm probably going through it and I need a distraction or... I send you the Connect Four or Four so we could play. It's just, or I FaceTime you to have a conversation about random things. It's because i um, probably going through it and you picking up makes a difference and helps me out a lot. So thank you to everybody out there. Yeah. I, I, think, I think now for the hundreds and thousands of people that watch you are going to see a different side of you. The beauty about this this show, this movement, is we get a different side of the character. We get a different side of the person that everybody else sees. You shot us with singing off the get-go. Oh, dude, that was Bam. You are the way it came out. You are who you are because that's you're not faking the funk. You are like you are you. So for that, like, yo, I appreciate you. We all appreciate you oh, here. Yeah. And, I mean, the energy has just been crazy. It's been amazing. It's been dope. We wanted to laugh. We wanted to cry. We wanted to start singing and get drunk. But <laughs> we wanted to order a mariachi for no yeah, reason. <laughs> I thought you guys had a mariachi for me. Yeah, you know what? The budget here was not, was, wasn't, I, wasn't I video. mean, I could have sponsored today's um, podcast. You guys should <laughs> let me know ahead of time. My manager was my manager. Hey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There it is. I, I gotta, hey, next I time, right. next time. We'll run it back. We're going to run we'll it back. Here, we'll be here and we'll have another special guest, guys. There'll be two of us. Soon, oh. soon, a couple months. This will be Dylan in a wig. Delilah. Oh, <laughs> We're going to have Delilah and Jessica at the same time. 
<laughs> man, is so I love I love ending ending this pot great amazing podcast with something to leave our viewers with, our listeners with. Because when they listen to us, it's not just to listen to all the funny stories, they listen to answers. They want answers. I'm going through my anxiety and depression. I wanted to know how you got through it. And I love that today Dylan got into his feelings because he's one of those that doesn't get into his feelings. I, I know. You, you don't look like, you know, talk about <laughs> your feelings, bro. He doesn't talk about anything. No. I really... I, let, let, let's, let's turn to Dylan. Now. Let's, let's turn to Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Dylan on the hot seat. What questions we got for Dylan? So, Dylan, now I'm going to ask you questions. Go for it. Go for it. I'm... I'm <laughs> So when did you start going through depression? Like, uh, I started going through depression a little bit before COVID, and it was through kind of like a breakup. Oh, through a breakup? Yeah. And Breakups, huh? It was. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's, it sounded it like you. Not. It sounded <laughs> like you. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, oh, it's only like he was laughing. Uh, I was like, I'm like, I, was I thought it was, I thought it was <laughs> you. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know who these enemies when your friends laugh at you. I'm, I'm like, sorry, Dylan. I was it laughing at you. It sounded like he was like. Anybody, I wasn't laughing at Dylan. I was laughing For at real? Ike. He was in his moment. He was like. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good, bro. It's good. It's good. <laughs> you ruined the moment, man. Hey, this is why I don't talk. <laughs> this is exactly why. Sorry, I don't Dylan. Talk continue. About. Continue. Quiet in the set. Quiet um, in the set. Where were we at? I was I was going through a breakup, and that was my first official girlfriend. Wait, oh. wait. Who the broke his heart, dude? <laughs> she knows. Why she, would she you break his she heart, is. man? He's a good. Put guy. on the wig and let's beat her up. <laughs> bro, you, you want me to tell? I'll tell you the whole story, man. And it's a quick story. Okay. <laughs> let us let us hear. It. Wait, let me get my drink. Get your drink. No, get your drink. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fiend drink. off the ice. Just just so I know. You know. My virgin drink is not ready. I'm a fiend off the ice. Virgin drink. You messed up. You could have been here with us. Anyways. <laughs> so. <laughs> to his, to his ex. <laughs> I'm all looking on it. <laughs> I was with this girl for like about a year. Just a year? Just a year, bro. Yeah, I mean, all right, continue. And I, it was my first girlfriend. Bro. Oh, on. your first girl? Okay. And she was like, you know, I need space and this and that. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm the type of person that will be understanding, you know? Yeah. Like, you need your space. All right, sounds good. Cool, no problem. Then I would see that she would go out, she would do this, she would do that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm here tripping out. I'm an overthinker. Huh? I'm here tripping out. Fuck, she's out, you know? Dude, you're at the clubs. Obviously, a girl at the clubs, I'm not trying to bash on the girls, but girls at the clubs, it's easier to get someone that guys at the club, you know? It's like, all right, you're going to get more attraction, more attention at the guys. So I'm like, damn, she's for sure dancing with someone that night. I know that for a fact. Yeah. And she hits me up. She hits me up. Oh, no, we went to a gay bar. Sorry, sorry to break it. And this and that. Sorry to break it to you, bro. She was she was out there twerking on somebody, bro. I'm going to be straight and up with you. I was like, all right. Later on, I see the story, and I know what club that is, and I'm like, that's not that's not a gay bar. And she she hits me with the, oh, at, at the end of the night, my friend just wanted to go to, a, to this random club because that oh one was God. dead. I'm like, all right, you know what? Like, this is some bullshit. And I'm not toxic. I'll tell you right now, straight up, I'm not toxic, you know? I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not like, oh, you should have talked. I was like, you do you. I'm the type of person, if I'm in a relationship, you do you. Oh, hold on, my drink is here. Thank you so much. Um, do you, do you, oh, oh it's out, it's out. do you think she watches this? Be honest, you think she, she's watching this? Hell yeah. No. Hell yeah. If you're watching this, you messed up, dude. I know for a fact she doesn't watch this because. Oh, she does. She added me on Instagram. Like she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. She, she has a bo- yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. The story. This is the the story is coming up. All, All right. right, story, story time. Anyway, Shh. so throughout that time, she said she needed her space. I was like, All right, I'll give you your space, no problem. She somehow, so for some reason, she's like, I know the, I know for a fact you're cheating on me and this and that. And my dumbass was at fucking home crying. I'm not gonna lie, I was at home crying. You know. It ended, I was like, you know what, you know what, this is it, we can't do this anymore, and this and that. Wait, you broke up with her, though? I broke up with her, I was That's like, you know right. what, That's this right. is it, That's we right. can't right. do this anymore. That's right, <laughs> a couple, like, <laughs> hold City on. boys. A, a couple weeks later, I see, I see her story, I see her story through someone else's story, you know, and she's with some guy from high school. Oh, man. And I'm like, yo, Hell what no. the fuck? Hold my shit. What's his name? Oh, we'll be back. This is, this is the, this is like the most important part. I know him. 
Oh, you I know, know him? I know him. <gasps> so he's my, he, he's not he's not a homie, but he's someone I know. So I hit him up. I'm like, bro, congrats, this and that. No. Yeah, I, bro, I, I'm not petty. I don't give a fuck. You That's know? petty. That's petty. That's petty. Congrats. And he's like, he's like, yeah, bro, you know what? I'm lucky enough. I got this girl. We've been talking for a while. I'm like, oh, oh shit. shit. You got the tea. You know, and you know what? If I, I'm, I'm not going to bash on him. I'm not going to put the pressure on him because I'm pretty sure he didn't know shit. So I'm not going to be like, yo, what the fuck? That was my girl. I was like, you didn't know shit. I, I'm, you know, we're cool. I'm, I don't trip. The problem is with her, you know? So he's like, yeah, I've been talking to her for a while and this and that. I was like, you know what? I was like, how long have you been talking to her? Like, congrats, bro. He's like, oh, I've been talking to her for like four or five months. I'm like. I was, a, I was, and I put two and two together. I was like, "Yo, that was the, that was the, that was the, the time in where she's like, I need my space, you know." And I was like, "You know what? All right, we're cool. All right, Girls. sounds good. Like, if he still hits me up, we're like, all right, we're cool, bro. Don't worry." Anyway, she hit me up. No, she didn't hit me up. She added me on Instagram like a half a year ago, and I'm like, "Like, I texted him. I'm like, bro, my ex fucking hit me up, you know? Like, she, she fucking, you know?" And then that guy texted him. Her, her boyfriend texted him no. to ask for my number. Damn. No. She's yes. getting juicy. I was huh. working. I had to go off at work. I'm like, you know what? Sí. And I'm not I'm not the person to text because obviously, Luis. like I said, I'm an overthinker. Jose Luis. <laughs> Jose Luis. Overthinker. Like, like I said, I'm an overthinker. If I go through text, I'll read it in my in my point of view, you know? Can, can we call Duno? The famous Duno? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely, bro. El que busca encuentra. El que busca encuentra. El que busca encuentra. Exactly. So... He sent me, like, a long-ass paragraph. If you're the type of person that you think you are on social media, you know, you should, you should not uh, add her up. You should not hit her up. And I'm here like, bro, she's the one that added me. You know, like, I wasn't doing shit. I was minding my own business. I, ha- I don't want anything to do with her, you know? Yeah, he's probably getting cheated on, too. I mean, if... City boys. City boys. I don't... I don't if, if that's the thing, you know, that's... You, you put yourself in that position, that's your shit. Anyways... Um, so I call him. I'm drinking his. On I purpose. call him. I'm not the type of person to text. So I'll call. So if you text me, I'll call you, bro. So I call him like twice. He doesn't pick up. Then he texts me again. He's like, I can't pick up. I'm at work. I'm like, that's some bullshit, you know? I was like, hit me up later. He didn't hit me up. Is Anyways, it? I blocked it from everything. I was like, you know what? It's over again. Hey, he's Fuck been it. waiting to say this story. Look at him. He, he, no, no, yeah, no. He's like, hell I'm yeah. really not. The light's on me. Let me go at you. Know? Anyways, you asked from, him the question. That's I why. Oh, yeah. Apart from that relationship, anyway, I obviously went to depression, this and that. Luckily, thanks to where, where are you, bro? Thanks, to Jose. Yeah. I Jose? ended up at I ended up at the gym. I ended up at the gym. What gym, the man? I don't, what, you went to a gym. <laughs> <laughs> the the shirt fits me a little bit big, but I mean oh, that's okay. the point, you know. But um, I ended up at Hidden Strength. Shout out to Hidden Strength and Jose Shout for out personal Adam. training. Um, I ended up at the gym. That kind of saved my life. I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't said this before, but I've there's been times where I've actually tried to end it, and it didn't work out for me, you know. And it's like, all right, you know, if it wasn't meant to be, it really wasn't meant to be. So thanks to the gym, thanks to Jose over there, thanks to Dusko right here that keeps my two feet planted on the damn floor. I'm here. I'm here. Now, we're, we're glad you're here, bro. Because I know. And Dark moments like that could get really dark, and I've I've been there as in feeling like uh, I had attack one time, like impulsive thoughts, and I I recognized them, and I was like, that's not me thinking, that's yeah. not, and I honestly felt it was crazy. I was laying down one night, and it felt like literally like something just like a demon just came in me. It really felt like that, and I started getting these impulsive thoughts, and I was like, I stood up, and I was like, why are these thoughts in my head? And I called my girlfriend right away on FaceTime. I called my cousin. I was telling him, hey, I'm, I'm, I think I'm having a panic attack with these thoughts. And um, that was that was a scary night. That, that's kind of the same night uh, I was feeling when I called you. That was that feeling, bro. That, that, I think we're, that, on, we're on the phone for like at least 30 minutes, 30, 40 uh, minutes. That feeling was scary, bro. Those impulsive thoughts were like scary. I've never felt anything like that. I told, I'm, I'm telling you, it felt like if a demon came inside of me and like was trying to take over it felt nasty i've never felt anything like that and that's why I, right away i faced out my girlfriend and my and my cousin i told them that i was i was feeling weird like scary yeah. it's it's they're tough moments um but it's how that overall thing goes sorry tough moments don't last but tough people do exactly. like the real people will last that's us 
the reason why we're all here in this room and the reason why we're, we have a platform, the reason why we just have a life is because we are chosen for this. Like, we chose this life, yes, but in reality, yo, this was already planned for us in some way, shape, or form. We're just now living through the chapter of life, and it wasn't off of luck. We've worked at this, everybody. We've There's not a day or moment that goes by where, damn, bro, you got lucky. Ah, fucker, I did this. Literally. I worked to this. Was yeah. it like a couple a couple minutes ago before we started the podcast? Um, I took a picture of the jersey, obviously, and I took a picture of yeah. Shout out, um, shout out, Andrew. Shout out, baseball and Shout out, shout out, shout out love. They send us stuff to wear, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Man. And I, I I posted I posted a pic. I tagged them and everything. Some dude from high school slid up. Dude, you guys are so lucky. You guys get free shit. You get so lucky. You guys get sponsored. And I'm like lucky. Bro, oh, we man. fucking worked hard for this shit. You know, we worked two, three fucking years for this shit. I know. It, we busted it, our ass to get where we are right now, you yeah. know? And thankfully, luckily for those people that sponsor us, for those people that give us free shit, I appreciate you guys. But nothing is really given. Everything is earned, bro. Everything yeah. is yeah. earned. Yeah. And yeah. Work hard for it. Exactly, yeah. bro. Is it, what's one thing that you had to give up that no one knew you had to give up for doing all this? Uh, uh, probably my ego. That's a big one right there, bro. That's uh, there's a lot of issues with that one. A lot uh, of people have a lot of issues. With and that. also, a thing is that a lot of well, I know in the Hispanic culture that we like to uh, compete and have hate on each other, envidia. Yeah. And I want to tell everybody that there's enough for everybody. Like there's there's enough. Pizza for everybody to eat, you know? Yeah. There's enough room at the table. Exactly, because we're know. all, like, if... And it's always... The sad part is always family against each other, you know? That's some... And if someone's doing better than somebody else, they like to hate on them or whatever the case is. But we should... Instead of hating each other, we should unite, you know? Like, help each other out, you know? So That's there is... I think one of the videos that, that, that did good, they asked the question, if someone did you dirty or left your life, and decided to come back to your life later on. Would you allow it? Yeah, I would. I forgive. I forgive. That's why me do too, you, big guy. Why do you too, forgive? Like, because <laughs> take it. All right. <laughs> because I, I believe um, I don't I don't hold grudges. I don't I don't like to hate. You know, I feel like everybody makes mistakes. True. So everybody deserves a second chance. But I never, you know, like I, I accept anybody, even if they did me dirty, whatever the case is, they, I I forget. Do you allow them back in the same position they once were? Uh, yeah, but maybe a little. I'll be a little on my toes, but yeah, then. I like that. Sure. See, I had a different. Yeah, I, a, I I allow it back, but to an extent. Yeah, like, exactly. You're, yeah, you know? you're just not allowed back into the same circle you once were. Exactly. You lo you lose the trust. Like yeah. before, I was able to leave you with this. Now I can't really leave you with this. I have to leave somebody else yeah. with you. Though, you know. I, there's, there's limits now. There's, there's limits. limits, and now. once and right now when you're in the circle, you have no limits. But once that is tested, well, now there's regulations. Now, hey, we got rules. Now, hey, you know what? I can't trust you with the with. True. My personal stuff because I don't know how you're gonna use this, especially in a platform that you're in. You tell someone a secret, you don't know if they're gonna go use it, or you don't know if they're gonna go. Yeah, yes, what that? Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Are you serious? Thank yeah. you. I thought I was waking up right now. Oh shit! <laughs> I hate right, that man. shit. Hey, I swear. Sometimes I would be, I would be doing a whole. I would be hiking, doing stuff, and I wake up and I'm still in bed. Like, man, I just had a whole day right now, you know? He's like, bro, all this was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, I'm still here. Imagine, bro, imagine. Oh. So leave us with a quote, a quote of the day. So let's go with Dylan, because Dylan got in his field, so oh, he's on the perfect God. moment right now. Give me, give me a nice quote, Dylan. I know. Give me Someone's gonna remember Dylan. Hear it. Damn, oh. I don't have one off. Come on, Coach D. Don't Google it, bro. No, no, no. Up your heart. Up your corazón. Let me no, see. Put the phone away. Wait, wait. Put, time out. Time out. Put his safari, put history, and put, put a P and put it in the camera like this. <laughs> hey, what's your search history right now? Hey, yo. Hey, hey, hey chill. <laughs> Casting couch. Um, <laughs> hey. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Crazy out there. Behind camera, they're fighting, guys. Um, 
crap. One of my quotes, and I've said it before, we're at the gym and stuff. Yeah. If you don't do it for yourself, if you don't take care of yourself, no one else will. So, you know, you got to take that responsibility. Her. Yeah. Her. You got to take that responsibility and do it for yourself because no one's going to do it for you, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. What you, come on. Leave us or something. Oh, damn. You know what? Damn. That's all. That's all. Hold on, hold on, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to do, do the quote. We got to do a quote. He's got to do it with Jessica. We got to do a quote. Jessica's got to say it. We got, oh, so there's two quotes. Two quotes. There's what? a Jessica right, quote, right, and then Jessica there's you. Jessica for a quote right now. All right. But let me see a quote, a quote. It's, uh, damn. I'm good at this, but I don't know right now with cameras, lights. It's, it's pressure, you know? But um, I would say, um, um, keep Keep going. Keep moving forward. Um, even if it's step by step, keep going forward. Um, you might not see the, the end of the tunnel, but as long as you can see your next step, uh, you're doing great. I like that. <laughs> Wait, does Toxica have a quote? Yeah. Toxica, Toxica have a hey. quote. Hey. <laughs> Everybody listen up. There's a Toxica. <laughs> <laughs> hey, low-key, under a couple of drinks, you look kind of cute, my guy. Dude, 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 tell me why he fucking tried to switch our drinks, dude. <laughs> he tried to give me the one with alcohol, bitch. Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm not that easy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. This is my quote, dude. Stay fucking toxic, dude. If you're not toxic, then what the fuck are you doing? Hey! hey. hey. Oh, Jessica. I love that. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so with I got you. me, uh -huh. man. All right, guy. let's see, let's hear it, let's hear it. Man, I hate, th all right, all right, ready, I'm ready. Thank you for my struggles. Thank you for the highest moments of my life and for the lowest. And because, because of the lowest moments, I learned how to get to the top. I am alive, and if you feel like to quit now, Wait a day. The next day will come up. The sun will come up, and your life will be great. Let's go. I like that. So if you stayed this long, it tells the light podcast, the most authentic, most organic. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. This podcast, you and Mr. Tony, hey. bro. Oh. It, is, it has been amazing. It Wait. was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Like I told you guys, I was, I was looking at like <laughs> He wasn't going to show up today. I was nervous to come up. Like I told you guys, a couple of podcasts reached out to me, but I feel like this was the right one. I feel like um, I had a couple of messages I wanted to share with you guys, and uh, I just want to thank God for this opportunity and everything that I have. So. We want to thank you, man. So if 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 you if you can leave us with a song, por tu maldito amor. No puedo terminar con tantas penas. Quisiera reventarme hasta las venas por tu maldito amor, por tu maldito amor. That's the yeah.